So what I have here is an older Sony DVD, CD, VCD player. It's a DVP NS300. And the problem it has is it doesn't read any discs. Now, if you're really persistent about it, I'll just load a, C a DVD in and show you. And all it does is just spins. You can hear the DVD spinning inside. If you're really persistent about it, you can actually get it to read. And once it reads it, it generally will play the movie. CDs, it will usually play. Come on. CDs, it will usually play. Usually. Yep, see, it recognized it as a CD. Yeah, see, I said usually. So this is usually... And it's not even playing the CD. Now, it's fairly common for combination DVD CD players to not play one or the other, but this one doesn't really play either. Like I said, it plays CDs a little bit more than it does DVDs, but it has trouble with both. So we're going to open it up and take a look. Um, generally, that's a bad pickup or it's just dirty. So we're going to try cleaning the, len the lens off. If that doesn't work, I have we can try a couple other things, but it may just need a new pickup. So let's find out. All right, so I've already taken the screws out of the case. Save you that boring step. So let's open it up. Okay, now the first thing I'm going to do is try and clean the lens. And since I can't get access to it, this piece up here, I'm sure I could sneak a Q-tip in there, but you wouldn't be able to see it. So we'll just do it this way. I'll take the whole thing apart. All right, and then just carefully take out these strips. And I'm gonna make sure when you, I'm gonna make sure that the uh, tray is left open. It's gonna be a little bit more difficult to get out, but it may we may need the more, more you know clearance. So while we're in here, so let's take this out. Just gonna lift this whole assembly out. So that's the laser. So, okay, and of course I was out of Q-tips right when I needed one, but all we want to do is take a Q-tip and just gently clean the top off. And you can take a look at it and see how dirty it is. This one's not, I can tell you right now. Um, usually you can see a layer of dust on it and just clearing that layer of dust will fix it. This one I don't see this being the problem, but let's try it anyway. All right, so let's put a DVD in. See if it plays, I don't think it will, but we'll give it a shot. And it's doing what it did before. It just spins. It doesn't detect it. Doesn't read it. Uh, you can't see it, but any, but you know, the display is blank. And it'll just do this over and over and over again. So that didn't fix anything. So next on the list, we're going to leave this open. Take the, we're gonna shut it back off. We're going to take all these out. We're going to lift it back out of the unit. All right, so on the back of the pickup assembly here, we have a potentiometer, and there's the laser diode. Now, usually on a CD-DVD player, on a combo, you're going to have two potentiometers, and they're going to use two different lasers. One's infrared, one's uh, red. The fact that this one only has a single potentiometer, and it looks like one laser diode, uh, makes sense if, because it's not reading CDs or DVDs. Uh, usually with CD-DVD players, you'll have, you know, DVDs will play fine, but CDs won't play, or vice versa. And that's because one of the lasers has gone out, but the other one's working just fine. So what this potentiometer will do is it'll adjust the amount of current going into the laser diode. Way too much current, it'll burn out instantly. Not enough current, it's going to be too dark, and you won't be able to read the disc. So we have to find a, a common middle ground. Now the problem that we run into is these laser diodes start to dim over time, and they're not able to actually track or read the disc reliably. So what we'll do is we'll turn this up slightly and add a little bit more current to the laser diode and see if it burns a little bit brighter and see if we can get it to actually track a disc. 
So I'm going to flip this over here so I can see it better. And you can use a screwdriver on some. This one, I can tell because I've used these already. They're, they're pretty much flat. There's nothing for the screwdriver to grab onto. So what I use is a, a just a blade because it's sharp. And one of the things you can do, what I always like to do first is draw a reference mark. And I'm just going to turn it a little bit in one direction, usually clockwise, and I'm going to try it. If it doesn't work, go back to the notch that we made or the, little, the mark that we made and go a little bit the other way. And I know that's kind of crude, but it works. Or you can sit and trace everything out. I just find this to be easier, quicker and easier. Sometimes all you have to do, especially if it is an intermittent thing where if you really keep trying, it'll eventually read the disc. Sometimes it just needs a little bit more current to actually work. And you don't want to crank it because you'll immediately burn it out if it's not dead already. So we just turn it up just a little bit. And this doesn't require an oscilloscope or anything like that. We're just doing a little adjustment. All right, so now that that's in, I'm not even gonna screw it in yet because I don't know if this is gonna work. And let's turn on the screen. Oh, it picked up that it's a DVD. At least it says it on the screen here. And there we go. It's playing. It's all it was. So that's all you got to do is make a little adjustment and it'll work. Now, I can't say this is going to work forever. But if you get another year out of it, it's something to do. Let's try a disc, a CD, and see if a CD works. You can't see this, but it is in fact playing the CD. I don't know if I can even lift this up to show you. There you go, see? It's playing the CD. It picked it up right away. So that's all that you needed to do. So let me just put the front end cap back on. And let's put it back together. Now the other option that you would have if you're unsure, or if you've tried this and it doesn't work, is you can buy an optical pickup assembly. I have another DVD player that I'm going to be doing that with shortly. I've tried this method, I've tried a few other things, and I just cannot get it to read CDs. It'll read DVDs just fine, but it will not read CDs. So I will be ordering a pickup for that, and I'll do a video on how to swap out the pickup on a CD-DVD player. Um, it doesn't matter if it's CD or DVD, they're basically the same idea. They're both optical discs. And. That's all that needed to be done. And as always, if you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, leave them down below. I do my best to read through them and get back to people as, you know, who have questions. Also, if you, this video is helpful, give it a like. It does help out. And uh, subscribe. I have other videos that are going to be coming out. I'm going to try and keep putting out more and more. And uh, check out my channel. I do have another video on fixing a CD-DVD player with a similar problem. And if this uh, was not clear enough, maybe that one may help you, may help clear some things up. I will also be putting out a video shortly as soon as the parts come in, well, as soon as I order the parts and then the parts will be coming in. I'll be fixing a JVC DVD player that I did a prior video to. It plays DVDs just fine, but it does not play CDs, as I just mentioned, and uh, I'll be I'm ordering a new pickup assembly for that, so keep your eyes out for that and I'll show you how to throw that in and we'll go from there. It's actually fairly easy. So until next time, see you later.